Between 2007 and 2010, they pumped in $29 trillion. $29 trillion into the banking system. That's according to Bard College, the Levy Institute at Bard College. So it's not my number. Then we look at the debt level in the United States. I mentioned that little clown boy of nothing, an arrogant little moron, George W. Bush. Again, they keep taking you to war. The budget deficit was $5.7 trillion. Today, $31.6 trillion since 2001. How are you going to pay this off? Oh, I forgot. Interest rates are going up. Now you got to pay more on your loan. This thing has been so artificially inflated. So going back to gold and silver, I, by the way, I, my first buy of gold, I forget, it was either 1977 or 78, was uh, $167.50 an ounce. And uh, that's how I became a trend forecaster. I, when you talk about government, I was on the other side. I was the assistant to the secretary of the New York State Senate at 26 years old. I used to run major political campaigns in Westchester County the richest county in America. I was the chief government affairs specialist for the chemical industry. At 28 years old, I'm staying at the Willard Hotel and putting my meetings on at the Hay Adams, the top places, and killing environmental legislation at the height of the environmental movement. So I was on the other side and I started to grow up. And that's when I became a trend forecaster. And I quit my job in 1979 when the Iranian crisis is, was heating up before. And everybody was taught to hate Iran. Let's hate Iran like we hate Russia. We don't know any of the facts, but we'll buy the headlines. People had no idea the United States overthrow the democratically elected government of Mossadegh in 1953, brought to you by another arrogant piece of scum who they quote as a hero, Winston Churchill. We want that Iranian oil the MI6 and the CIA, Kermit Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt's grandson, leading the charge in the CIA, overthrowing the democratically elected government of Mossadegh in 53, bringing in the Shah and the Savak, the secret police. So when the revolution happened, I'm looking at the facts. I'm saying to you why I started investing in gold. I started playing the futures market. I had a $5,000 bet that I brought up to almost three quarters of a million dollars playing gold and oil futures. As everybody was learning to hate Iran, I said, what are going to be the socioeconomic and geopolitical implications? So I realized what would happen, and it did. Gold and oil prices skyrocketed. I quit my job and I began the Trends Research Institute in 1980. Now let's go back to gold. Gold prices now should be well over $2,000 an ounce. And why would you not want to buy gold when, not too long ago, in 2022, the central banks had a record year buying gold. They're buying the gold because they know how bad it is. And now there's a, going to be a pull away from the dollar. The dollar is going to crash when they start lowering interest rates. And I'm forecasting they're going to start lowering interest rates before the 2024 presidential reality show. They do it all the time to artificially prop up the economy for the president that's in power. Because all you have to do, if you have a brain bigger than a pea, you can see who's running the government. Other arrogant clown that used to be the Fed head, oh, Janet Yellen, before following Bernanke and before power. Oh, what was her job? She was the head of the Federal Reserve. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's her job now? Oh, you mean she's the U.S. Treasury Secretary? What am I, six years old? I can't yeah. see this. So you see the deal? Washington and the Fed are one gang. It's a crime syndicate. What the dollar is going to crash when interest rates, they start lowering interest rates. You've got a debt level, I told you, of $31.5 trillion. This country's going down big time. I was in D.C. on February 19th. We had a big rally. It was called Rage Against the War Machine. And I told you, I spent a lot of time in D.C., whole different Washington, D.C. from the time I was there. At the traffic circles, you like all those homeless tents? Oh, you go down the streets for rent, for lease, for lease, for rent, for rent, for rent, for rent. 
The whole society is in collapse mode. When interest rates go down, the dollar is going to go down. You now you're seeing India trying to stop trading in dollars. China, Russia, Brazil, one country after another, they've had enough of the United States hegemony in terms of foreign policy and financial policy. Again, the Bretton Woods agreement is a long time over. Mm. That was after World War II. It's a different world. You look at the numbers. Just to, as I say, one of my sayings is the 20th century was the American century. The 21st century is going to be the Chinese century. The reason? The business of America is war. The business of China is business. When you look at America's defense budget, the military budget and the intelligence budget, and calling it intelligence is an oxymoron, it's over a trillion dollars. We have 332 million people in this country and a trillion dollar defense budget. China, 1.4 billion people and a $224 billion defense budget. China is moving way ahead of all the countries in the world on the high tech and nobody's coming close. And that's the future. So that's where we're going. So going back to gold and silver, to me, it is the number one and number two safe haven asset. And again, you don't have to believe me. You could believe the central banks. In 2019, there was a market crisis happening. The repo markets, mm -hmm. the gamblers on Wall Street needed more cheap money and they couldn't get it. The Federal Reserve dumped in $7 trillion from September 2019 to January 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm not making this up. JP Morgan Chase convicted of five felonies. Five felonies convicted of. Oh, what was one of them? Let's go back to 2019, not ancient history. Rigging the precious metals market. Convicted of it. Hey, give him a slap on the wrist. Jamie Dimon <laughs> only makes $35 million a year. You know, find him a couple of hundred. Give him a fine. And then let, go, and shut up. Go, go on. Let them do what they want. They're rigging it. And when you got these billionaires, what are they? Was, was Buffett worth 112 billion or something? You know, Bezos, Musk, all these guys. Oh, by the way, the billionaires, when they start with the COVID war, the rich got richer and everybody else got poorer. The billionaires of the world in two years got $27 trillion richer. They own everything. They own the world. That's what's going on. The game is totally rigged. I mentioned to you who the Treasury Secretary is, that how dare you bring in the former Fed head to be our Treasury Secretary. Mm. Look at the gang running the show. And look how low it's all gone for everybody. 64% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Mm. You go to LA, you want to see homeless San Francisco? Before I left my heart in San Francisco, you bet you did. Holy, well, I can't believe what the place looks like. One after another. America's middle class has shrunk 11% since 1970. Jeez. This was the land of opportunity. Now, get a job at Walmart. Get a job at Costco. Get a job at Hannaford. Get a job at the... When I was a young guy, they had hardware stores, stores stationery stores, uh, drug stores, grocery stores. All gone. The chains own everything. Chains. The chains. And all we are are plantation workers chained to the chains 